This would be part 11 of the build. I am here with uh, Bill Donovan, who is the owner of ReefLEDLights.com. And today we are going to tour his facilities here with all his tanks and whatnot. We are also going to go over the parts and material for the build. We're going to explain some common questions of uh, what we decided to do with on my tank. Other tanks can be, you know, their own thing, have their own setups, and Bill here can actually, if you go to his website and contact him, he will email you back and or you can get a hold of him on the phone. Uh, a quick overview of what we have here on my setup, we decided to go with two 24 inch setups, um, total of 96 LEDs with the lenses. Now the lenses are 80 degree optic lenses and um, the drivers are, this will focus in ELN 6048Ds. Now these are dimmable drivers and the reason why we wanted to go with dimmable drivers is so I can modify this these LEDs to get more blue or more white or whatever we want so that my colors can be the way I want them in the tank. Um, you don't have to go with dimmable drivers. There are other kinds of direct drivers you can go with, but uh, for my setup, I also wanted to, in the future, put a G F GHL Proflux controller on it so you can get that lightning storm effect if needed and, and, and whatnot. But, uh, in any case, uh, if you wanted to meet Bill, <laughs> this is Bill. He is Hi. the owner um, of ReefLEDLights.com. And uh, Bill, if you would, um, your your type of LEDs here. What is why did we decide to go with these type of LEDs compared to some other ones? Well, there's the Cree XRE uh, Q5s, uh, which is the most efficient of the uh, XRE series. Um, there are different types of LEDs. Uh, you have the uh, XPGs, which are a little more advanced and a little bit more efficient. However, the optics on these, these 80 degree optics, will improve the power by close to 40 to 50 percent. Uh, with the current spread of your average fish tank, uh, this is ideal. Okay. Uh, it's not too strong, uh, it's not too uh, light as far as the uh, overall power. 48 of these. LEDs on 124 inch heat sink will give you the equivalent of a 400 watt metal halide, which is, in my opinion, is perfect. That's what I have on the setup here. Mm -hmm. And we'll get into your equipment on probably part two here, but you know we'll go over your whole shop and everything else like that, and we'll show us some pictures and everything. But uh, yeah, we, I mean, and because like my my tank is a is a 60 inch span. Now we got two 24s, which is like 48 inches, but we're going to space them out and we'll still have the same good effect as far as... Yes, yeah, so you'll have uh, the coverage of this with 80 degree optics with the light approximately 12 inches above your tank. Yeah. We'll cover around 30 to 36 inches uh, long and about 24 inches wide. Perfect, which is exactly what my yeah. tank is. Okay. And with the uh, uh, these specific crees, uh, the uh, XPG, is the spectrum is perfect. Uh, if you go to our website and uh, click on the data sheet, mm -hmm. you'll find out that it uh, has a very nice uh, 450 nanometer spike uh, along with a uh, huge growth spectrum. Now what does the nanometer spike mean? I don't uh, the atonic uh, lights, uh, which gives you the blue, the yeah. perfect pop, that's about 450 to 455 nanometers. Okay. Uh, at the ocean depths, past 30 feet, that's your predominant light wave. So these LEDs are perfectly suited for a growing coral. Very good, very good. And uh, as far as, um, I guess we could do that in part two, but uh, or part three even. If um, when we have these all kind of laid out, we will show how to, you know, drill through to go down, how to solder them together so that people are not scared to do it themselves. And um, you know, it's it's a fairly a simple process. You do have to learn how to solder a little bit, but other than that, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, correct, Bill? It's very easy to do. Okay, okay. Well, let's uh, stop it here for now. Wait on part two here. We will actually do and go through uh, Bill's setup with this 540-gallon tank 
He's also got another tank in his rooms over to the left, and then he's got his fish room over to here. So hold on for part two.